Autumn has arrived, my dearest wildflowers, and as the wind scatters leaves of red and gold across this enchanted valley, I prepare to say goodbye to this place where the trees know my name. The willows down by the river have watched me grow. They too were young and green when we first met. At 15, I was a bright-eyed little fairy, and they watched on, perhaps with a knowing smile, when I fell in love for the first time with a skinny, flame-haired boy on a bicycle. My first kiss was under those willows, my first seance, my first heartbreak. I returned each summer and over the years they watched me grow, decade by decade, into a wilder and wiser version of myself. These trees sat in silence with me through my endless grief and darkest hours, and they taught me the language of the forest. And so it feels fitting that I should be saying goodbye in autumn, the season of letting go. Last week we celebrated the pagan Sabbath Maybon, which marks the autumnal equinox, when the day and night are of equal length and the wheel of the year turns over into the darkness. The season of the witch is here, and it is my very favourite time. I can almost feel the veil thinning and the ancestors whispering their secret song. I was once a summer girl, hoping in vain for a life of endless sunshine. But in the last few years, I suppose something has shifted in me. And now I love this season. This feeling of melancholic beauty that autumn brings kind of matches my artistic mood, my Norse roots, and my penchant for the spooky and strange. So I cannot wait for the dark womb of winter to come, the solitude and deep magic that stirs in the stark, cold silence. To me, Maybon is a time to reflect upon the story of Persephone, the one who walks between worlds. She is both a floral maiden and the queen of darkness. She reigns over flowers and demons, raises baby birds in her lap with a gentle, loving touch, yet even death himself pales before her fury. As the autumn winds blow, chasing clouds across the sky and shaking withered leaves to the ground, once fresh and green, now decomposing into soil once more. I allow this change to come over me too, for this is a season to embrace my darker, witchy interests and meet with my shadows, because there is really nothing to fear in the darkness, for it is where metamorphosis occurs. It is Ugboot weather, when you can jump in puddles and play in the fallen leaves, and there is a sadness in the air that I suppose matches my own melancholy mood as I feel things changing. But it's also a time of comforting, nourishing and introspection, getting out your old cookbooks and warming recipes, using the last of the season's harvest and a pinch or two of spice. This is the weather for cozy sweaters, we call them jumpers here, <laughs> and hot cups of tea and cocoa. It's time to get cozy and snuggle in. Maybon is when I change over my magical wardrobe, switching out the pretty pastels and spring fairy dresses to outfits that fit a darker aesthetic. I also love to add a hint of autumn spice to my hair colour at Maybon, giving it a warm, fiery glow that the fey folk will surely appreciate as I flip between the trees on my forest walks. I kind of fancy myself a marrow maiden of Celtic lore with my magical red locks waiting to drag unwary sailors to their demise. <laughs> or delight, depending on my mood. <laughs> Aside from seducing sailors, of course, I thought this cute little smock dress with her roughly Peter Pan collar would be perfect for an apple picking autumn adventure with puppers, with some patterned socks a wicker basket and a pair of vintage brogues, I think I'll look just the part. So let's pop it on and get ready for a road trip.
May Bon also marks the season for the soggy doggy. <laughs> and with my adventurous best friend Noah, there's going to be a whole lot of muddy paws, seasonal shedding and wet autumn leaves trailing along on fluffy tails. So I'm really excited to give my car a good clean and set up this gorgeous backseat cover from Stylish Hound. This is honestly going to save my car from so much damage over the muddy season because once it is set up, there isn't a single inch of my car that he can destroy. <laughs> now, this is not a paid advertisement, although the lovely team at Stylish Hound are offering my viewers a discount code, which I will share in the links below. But I really wanted to say how impressed I am by the solid construction of their products. The stitching is incredibly strong and there are thoughtful design touches and handy features that only dog owners can truly appreciate. It clips over the headrests, just like the safety seat, which is just as easy to assemble. And the best part is that it hooks onto the grab handles and zips up to protect the side panels. It even has a handy pocket to store your doggy treats or books, or picnic snacks, <laughs> whatever takes your fancy. Maybe my favorite thing is the evergreen floral pattern, which is kind of perfect for us two forest fairies. I have the matching headrest restraint, as well as the no pull harness and lead, all in the same cute design. And I think Noah loves it too. He certainly looks very pleased with himself, don't you think? He is, after all, a very special, very stylish hound. <laughs> In the folklore of my ancestors, familiar spirits were believed to take the form of household pets to assist witches and cunning folk in their magic. These supernatural beings, in the form of a beloved animal, served as a witch's companion, loyal guardian and protector. Some might even consider them a kind of soulmate, bonded to you for their lifetime and waiting for you at the crossroad to the other side. After a meandering drive through the falling leaves, we arrived at Black Barn Farm to go apple and berry picking. It's not every day you get to meet one of your favourite authors and visit a place that you have only read about in books. Through my own research into permaculture and regenerative farming, I fell in love with Jade's book Future Steading, especially with the way it is collated into six distinct seasons, not marked by calendar dates, but by the feeling in your bones, the temperature, the light, the moisture, and what's growing and what's fading. To me, this felt really instinctual and ancient and resonated with my own way of living in tune with the wheel of the year. And while Jade may not call herself a green witch, I sure do know a kindred spirit when I meet one. I must admit, I had a little book nerd fangirl moment when Jade signed my well-loved copy of Future Steading, and I just had to ask her what her favourite season was. Oh, there is something about this time of year, it's fires at night, but sunshine during the day, possibly warm enough to do a damn dip, definitely um, picnics by rivers and picnics in, in the paddock, definitely still opportunities for cloud watching so much food because of all the work that you've done from the three seasons prior and just you know coming in in baskets and containers and you know whatever tub you can find on the kitchen floor I don't know it feels it's a, it's a season that feels virtuous you feel like all your hard work has paid off and, and about to sort of wrap itself up in a pantry that's filled to the brim with preserves and dehydrated foods and there's mushrooming and also I think 
much more connected. Yeah, it's definitely, and it's beautiful. The turning of the leaves is so spectacular. I couldn't let a Sabbath pass without some kitchen witchery, and so I'm going to make a Dutch apple pie with the Prima apples I picked with Jade. This kind of pie has a buttery, biscuity, crumbly topping that is incredibly indulgent, and I'm going to pop some of the blackberries in too to make it extra delicious and autumnal. I feel like apple pie is one of the quintessential Maybon foods, not only because apples are in season and pies are such a cosy comfort food, but because, like pomegranates, apples are associated with Persephone, the queen of the underworld. Since I'm moving house and don't have a whole lot of time to do anything with my altar this year, this pie can be my seasonal offering to her. And let me tell you, it tastes like the food of the gods to me. I don't know what it is with this channel, but every time I make a recipe to share with you all, it is next level delicious. <laughs> I think you must all be adding to my magical baking skills or something. I will share this recipe as a printable page for my wild roses on Patreon. And please do let me know if you make it. You are in for a treat. <laughs> I only wish I could share it with some of you because I don't know how much longer my cute dresses will fit me if I keep eating an entire pie every Sabbath. <laughs> I know I made a bit of a mess serving this up, but it's a beautiful mess. And after this sweet treat, I'm going to get started on the Maybon title page for my upcoming book, Wild Fairy Magic. There are so many autumnal activities that I want to share in this chapter of the book, including apple picking, recipes, sketching fall leaves, mushroom foraging, oh, and so much more. But if you have any ideas for fall activities that you would love to see in the book, please tell me in the comments below and I will do my very best to include them. I so hope you've enjoyed this cosy autumn adventure, my dear wildflowers. And if you did, and you'd like to support my channel, there are lots of ways you can do so. You can like, subscribe, or hit the love heart icon below to say thanks. Or you can join me over on Patreon where you'll have access to all my free printables and bonus content. Plus, at the end of April, we'll be getting together to chat about Jade's book, Future Setting, in our witchy book club. So I'll leave the link below and you can grab your copy and join us. Of course, you can always check out my art, oracle cards, journals and spirit paintings too, if the mood strikes you. <laughs> And you know, the next time you see this little rose, I'll be in my new house. And I cannot wait to show you around. Until then, sweet souls, a blessed Maybon to you all. May the winds of change blow gently through your autumn days and the warmth of love and friendship carry you through the chilly nights. <laughs>